A group of healthcare advocates are staging a protest in downtown Toronto this morning as a program offering health care to uninsured people in Ontario comes to an end. CB 24's Jamie Goodfroyd is live at the protest this morning. Uh, where are you, Jamie? What's happening? Yeah, we're at Bay and Wellesley right now where uh, the protesters who are, are not happy with a, a reversal from the Ford government on health care to provide health care for those who are uninsured. Uh, they've stopped traffic here. I want to bring in Dr. Michaela Beter, a psychiatrist with the Health for All Coalition. Tell me what's going on here. Why are you guys stopping traffic? So at the start of the pandemic, the government brought in a program which allowed health care for everybody, regardless of their insurance status. This government has now said that they're going to cut this program on the 31st, today, we are outraged, we are terrified, we are so upset that this program has been announced to be cut and we're calling for an immediate reversal of this cut. Well, the, the health minister says this is not going to affect the way health care facilities, um, in terms of the health care that they provide these uninsured individuals, it's more so how they're going to basically affect the billing that the these health care facilities and the hospitals aren't going to be able to bill the province. Uh, so what do you make of those comments and how is that going to affect the, the status of uh, the health care for a lot of you know individuals who are homeless or uh, those who have immigrated here who don't have residency status? We know that's just not true. What is going to happen is that people are going to be left with immense bills or they're not even going to seek health care because of the large amount of money it costs to get health care. And so what we're going to see is what we saw before March 2020, before this program existed, which is that people were not getting health care. People are going to die if this program is cut. This is a small program with a powerful impact, and we're calling for an immediate reversal of the cuts. Previously, we would see people not go to the hospital, children not be able to get care, uh, women who are pregnant not able to deliver in the hospital because of fear of exorbitant bills. And so we're now calling on the government to do the right thing and reverse this. Now, I can understand that you know uh, this is obviously a very passionate you know issue for you yourself, many doctors, physicians. Um, you guys have taken the steps to shut down traffic. We just had a healthcare worker who just came up to one of your, your, your the protesters here who said, "Listen, I support you guys, but I'm a healthcare worker trying to get to." <laughs> my hospital to try and work on patients and stuff like that. So why are you taking this drastic measure and, and you know, holding up traffic here when you do have healthcare workers who are trying to get to work? I mean, many health organizations across Ontario have written letters to the Premier, uh, the Registered Nursing Association of Ontario, the Association of Ontario Midwives. Many, many organizations have tried other means. They've been writing letters. We had a demonstration. We have, uh, people are speaking to the ministry. All of these methods have been tried and have been unsuccessful. And that is why we're now taking this step to make sure that the government hears the immense concern within the health community. And if they continue to not listen to the requests, uh, what else does the coalition plan on doing? Do you plan on having more of these protests and, and stopping traffic here in Toronto? I think we're going to, we're going to continue uh, letting the government know exactly how the health community feels about this, which is that the cuts must be revoked, otherwise people will die. Doctor, appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Well, as you can see, the uh, protest has just cleared way to let some of this traffic go through here, uh, Nick, but uh, obviously some very passionate individuals uh, from doctors, physicians, uh, midwifery, they're all concerned about how this is really going to impact those who are uninsured, the homeless, uh, those who have landed here, who don't have residency status, who don't have an OHIP card, uh, and they say that this is going to impact them in a big way and even other doctors are saying that it's just not going to be uh, fair for uh, a lot of these health care facilities to provide care and not get reimbursed. Back to you for now. Okay, Jamie Goodfriend reporting live downtown this morning. Thank you.